Hello? What's this? You don't cook. Figured you'd be hungry after your ride, so I made you breakfast for lunch. Eat. I made the bacon just how you like it. Incinerated. Where are the kids? I think they're giving us space so you and I can have an adult conversation about the house. Okay. Yeah, thanks for coming all this way to back me up. You haven't been making it easy on me. Oh, I'm not here to back you up. I'm here to back up the boys. You can't let them lose this house, Adam. Well, it's done. Julia sold it. Actually, I um, changed my mind. Hi. <laughs> OK, well, let's get something straight here. Uh, I'm not letting them lose anything. This has been out of my hands since the start, so don't go making me the bad guy here. I'm not making you out to be anything. I'm trying to help you. Let someone else try to solve a problem for once. So what, you're just going to dissolve the trust and gift the boys the beach house? No, she can't do that. She has a child of her own to consider. Yeah, well, I'm not going to squander their trust to buy this house. And frankly, I'm surprised that you would support that. When did I ever say that? I just want you to move some money around to buy it for them. What? Fair market value. Terms negotiable, of course. I think um, I'm going to go now because that's, that's not happening in the story. Uh, you know what? I have a question for you. Why is it? that those boys have been trying harder for the last three days to save this house than you have in the last several weeks. Adam. No, shut up, Laurel. You don't have a vote, okay? I know Sue's made you feel like this house is part yours, but it's not. Where do you get off saying shit like that? 